This week, Rowan University is marking the 50th anniversary of the start of the space race with planetarium programs and a very special exhibit. Visitors can take a very close look at samples of lunar rocks, minerals, and soils brought to Earth by Apollo astronauts. Science and technology correspondent Patrick Regan reports. At the heart of Rowan University's Glassboro campus stands Science Hall, which in turn centers on the striking, roughly cone-shaped structure that houses the Edelman Planetarium. This is where a little bit of the moon has landed for a three-day stay. On the 50th anniversary of Sputnik's launch, NASA delivered two plastic disks, each of which holds samples of six different kinds of material from the moon. Though small, the samples reveal a lot to the naked eye, and visitors can study them under the microscope to their heart's content. Believed to have been blasted out of our planet more than four billion years ago, these materials were returned during six missions between 1969 and 1972. They say that the youngest moon rocks are as old as the oldest earth rocks. So earth rocks, by and large, have been processed a lot. Uh, in rocks you get from the moon, samples from the moon, you see more of what the solar system was like early in its history. Planetarium director Keith Johnson also chose this occasion to launch new star shows, including the Great Space Race. We're going to tell you the whole story from Sputnik all the way up through the space shuttle and beyond. We're also trying a kind of an interesting experiment here in the Planetarium Dome. We have a very talented student band called the Lab Band, does, does jazz and other kinds of music. They're going to come in here, distribute themselves around the Planetarium Dome, and I'm going to let the sun set, the stars come out, it gets dark, and they're going to start improvising. And for 45 minutes, they're going to be improvising in the dark with no lights, no music, no director, and I'm going to be putting various celestial images up on the dome and let them react to it. It's an experiment, and I think it's going to be a lot of fun. Patrick Regan, NJN News, Glassboro.